Hello everybody and welcome back to Thames Ironworks Community FC. You join us for another Essex Corinthians Sunday League Division 4 clash. This week we take on Custom House Community FC at Cave Road. This comes off the back of a thumping 4-0 victory away to East Ham International last week. Obviously very pleased with a clean sheet last week. We look to carry on in the same vein of form and uh, we need another three points to really put the pressure on second place. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Umbro who supplied our match kits and Maita who provide our matchday footballs. OK, moving on to the lineup for today's game. Can he keep another clean sheet in goal? David Scourfield. In defence, Charlie Kerr left back, Charlie Donald right back, Wayne Gittins and Liam Tracy Sasse in the middle. In midfield, Billy Scott right wing, Tony Bones left wing, Ben Glander captain and Theo Towley in the middle. And up front, Reese Lewis and Benjamin Canberry. On the bench, we have Howard Brown, Greg Hobbs, Danny Child, Luke Malden and Curtis Smith. Two devilishly handsome managers, Scott Collier and Graham Thompson. A referee just checking that both goalkeepers are ready to start counting up, making sure no one's snuck an extra player on. Gets the thumbs up. That'll be Benji to get us underway. Roll it back into Charlie Kerr. Charlie Kerr with a throw in into Reese there. Just nicked away from him by the defender. They'll clear their lines. Sess picking out a nice little bit of control there. Nice ball out wide. Really picking it up here. It's a looping ball into the box, into the back post. There's Benji. Oh, tries to spectacular. Oh, Reese has nicked in. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The defence switched off. Reese never gave it up as a lost cause. He's got his reward there. And he'll run over to the camera and I'm sure he'll do some dodgy celebration like he normally does. Yep, I was right. So as you can see, a looping ball in from Bill. Benji went for the spectacular. Bit of a miss it there, but Reese never gave it up. And that takes his tally now to five in three. So as I say, last week, he's really caught fire. Charlie Kerr to launch a long throw in down the line into Reese, shepherding the ball down the line, holding his man off well there. Tony making a good overlapping run there. He's drawn a oh, lovely bit of skill from Reese. Is that a penalty? That looks in the area to me. But the referee's deemed it a free kick on the edge of the area. Theo to whip in a dangerous ball. Oh, that's caused all sorts, that's hit the post. That caused all sorts of problems in the middle there. Sess couldn't quite get on the end of it there. Couldn't get his leg long enough. And the Custom House community will clear their lines. Charlie Donald rolling it back to Wayne there. Nice bit of composure. Will he go back to keeper? He's shielding the ball away, looking to roll it into Charlie Donald. But Custom House nick it away and it's a throw on to Thames Ironworks. So another free kick, Theo standing over it. That's whip. Oh, that's a great save for the keeper. Tips it onto the bar. Got across late, but that was a good save. Theo nearly extending his tally for the season. Wayne just seeing it behind there. So that's a corner to Custom House. That's dangerously whipped in now. But Benji up well, cleared away well. Custom House looked to hook it back in. Is he, was he off there, just coming back in? No, but come to nothing anyway. There's Charlie trying to shepherd the ball. Oh, that's a dangerous tackle there. Could have given away a penalty, but rolls harmlessly back to Dave. Throw out to Charlie Donald. Roll it into Bill. He'll look to get away down the line inside to Ben Glander. Lovely little ball into Benji there, who kicks it off his own face. Custom House will clear it downfield and that will relieve the pressure. Quick frame for Custom House, they look to work the line here, clear the way, it's, it's bobbling around in there, someone needs to get their foot on it. Charlie Kerr just shepherding it away there. Oh, a lovely turn away. He'll roll it inside to Theo. It's pinging around, we need to get Theo on the floor again. Every week he seems to end up on the floor. That's uh, well defended there. Benning again, solid foot, he's, he's been solid so far this season. Benji, nice little turn away. And again, no, lovely bit of strength there. Oh, he could, oh, is he going all the way? Oh, he's just bobbled away off his foot there. I thought he was going to go all the way. Ben in. Lovely tackle again. Referee seen an infringement now. Theo to whip in a dangerous ball to the back post. There's Cesc coming in. Oh, Marty Shawley. Oh, I don't know who missed that. He had a free header at the back post. This has been the story of our season so far. We create so many chances in a game. Failed to capitalise early on. I just hope this doesn't come back to haunt us later on. Big kick from Dave. That's hanging up a bit. Ben, flick on. Lovely flick on. Reese, lovely touch. Oh, he's got Tony away here. Can Tony just roll Reese in? Will he roll him in? No, he keeps getting to the line. Oh, that's across the goal. Benji, surely no. Oh, Reese, great tackle from the defender. Reese only had to prod it into an empty net, but great tackle. And Custom House will come away with it now. They'll try and get the ball down there right. But Theo just shepherding the ball out of play there. Speaking of which, Theo standing over another set piece. Chance to whip a dangerous ball in here. He's always gone for goal, but it's hit the wall. And now Custom House will clear it away through the legs of Theo. And then Charlie will just run it out of play. Quick frame from Custom House, he'll look to work it down the line. Bit of a mix up there, it's out for a Thames Ironworks throw on. 
Charlie trying to get a quick one going, but Charlie Kerr taking the ball off him. Looking to work down the line, maybe into Tony. Inside to Theo, lovely little one-two. Lovely little show away there from Charlie Kerr inside into Ben Glander, sprays it out wide. Charlie Donald now looking to open it up down the right hand side. Lovely ball down the line into Reese. That's a lovely touch. Can he whip it across here? Cut out by the defender. Oh, what a finish from Billy Scott. Absolute top bins. Oh, the defender is looking to clear the ball down the field. Oh, I don't know what he's done. A very impetuous from the defender, but he's only managed to slice it over into the gardens, possibly. So as we see from the replay, a lovely ball down the line from Charlie Donald. Dangerous ball across. Defender could have done better with that, but there's, oh, Billy couldn't have done any better with the finish there. Absolute screamer into the top corner. And that's 2-0 to the Ironworks. The custom has to restart. Rolls it back into the left back there. Clears it upfield, but that will just run harmlessly through to Big Dave at the back. Free kick for Custom House as we approach the end of the half. Looking to launch it into the box. That's, oh, that's caused a little bit of panic in the box. There's a chance here. Oh, a little bit more composure and that could have been a problem. Dave will clear his lines, see us through to half time. It's out towards Theo. Brings it under control nicely, but oh, part just couldn't make the pass count there. But Custom House hook it out for a throw on. Tony will look to take a quick one into Theo. Getting a little bit scrappy in the middle. Custom House will bring it away. It's out for a Thames Ironworks throw on, surely. It's got to be half time soon, surely. Down the line from Custom House. This should see us through to half time. Charlie into Tony. It'll be a mix up, goes out of play. Referee blows, that's half time. Good half from Thames Ironworks here. Custom House will get the second half underway. Rolls it back into the left back. Wobbling around the middle here. Charlie Curl bring it away. So, oh, Mr. oh, but he's managed to come away with it. I thought he miscontrolled it there. Lovely ball into Benji. Reese is busting the gut to get in there. That's, oh, that's a great tackle from the centre. Oh, Benji on the rebound. Maybe should have done a bit better with that, but that was a great tackle from the centre back. Work it down the line. Miscontrolled there, but it's run through. They'll look to break away here. That's a nice little ball in. It's Liam again in there. Shepherded him out. Charlie Donald in. Nice little one-two into Theo. And Bill just shut down there. Couldn't get the turn away. Customer clearing down, I'm looking to get a throw in off of Billy. But Theo is still bobbling around a little bit. Theo with a nice little flick over. He's, he's come away with a ball. That's a lovely ball through to Benji. This should be free, surely. Oh, that's a great save for the keeper, Reese. Oh, cleared away. Lovely ball from Theo. Maybe should have done a little bit better from Benji there. But great save from the goalkeeper. Ball bouncing kindly for Bill. We look to roll Theo in, but the customer has player in. Good interception there, but Theo foot in Ben. Calmly out to Charlie Donald, down the line. That's a lovely ball into Reese. His pace will cause all sorts of. Well, that's a great tackle, though. That is a great. Reese was clean away if he hadn't made that tackle, and he'll clear it away for a throw on. Big clearance upfield from Custom House. What well, a lovely bit of control there. But you'll never beat Wayne Gittins. Gets a foot in. Falls kindly for Bill. Lovely ball inside to Tony. Little back he went to Reese. What's going? Always, oh, always oh, stayed on his feet. That's a lovely ball across Benji. Oh, great save from the keeper. Charlie Kerr to launch a long throw in into the box. Over says his head. Oh, that's a, ref's given a penalty. That is handball. You won't have seen it, but Billy was standing in front, but there was definitely an arm out there. Theo over the ball. That's a oh, good down from the keeper there, but into the top corner. Another penalty for Theo. Bit lucky this time. Keeper got a good hand on that. Maybe Phil he should have done a little better with that, but they all count. So Theo obviously listening to my comment on last week's game about owing Reese a drink for getting all these penalties. Gets a penalty through another means there, so his wallet's safe for the time being. And speaking of safe, that makes it 3-0 to Thames Ironworks. He maybe get a shot away here, but that's blocked. But there's Sess again, solid, headed back into the danger zone. 1-2 with Charlie there. Charlie, what will he do from here? Oh, he's into the middle, he rolls it in nicely to Ben, sits up there. He's had a go Oh my word! I do not believe it! What a strike from Glander! In the words of Andy Gray, they don't save those. Oh, let's take another look at that. That was an absolute screamer from Ben. Oh, Charlie, lovely bit of footwork there. Just rolls it into the middle. Sits up beautifully. That, oh, what a strike. Off the laces, in off the underside of the bar. Absolute screamer. He's brightly mobbed by the rest of the lads. Oh, you don't see many goals like that on a Sunday. And the boys often take the mick out of Ben because normally when he hits a shot like that, it ends up in someone's back garden. Custom House still playing some nice football. Full, full credit to Custom House. So the final down is still playing some very good football. Lovely bit of interplay between the left back and the midfielder there. Look at this, is lovely one-touch football. It's a lovely through ball. Charlie will just shepherd that back. Will Dave come for that? 
Uh, Charlie will just shepherd it out of play and hook it away, tidy it up nicely there. Ben looking to work it down the line, but there's no option into the left back. We'll have plenty of time to pick a pass here. Just rolls it inside. Oh, Charlie, a little bit fortunate there with the control, but it falls kindly into Ben. That's a lovely ball out wide to Benji. You just bring it under control. Can he get one on one? Lovely tackle from the defender. They just showed too much of it to him. But Theo preventing the clearance. That's a lovely shot for Theo. Oh, that's a great save from the goalkeeper. Pushed away well there. Pushed it out of the danger zone. Custom House will clear their lines. Custom House will clear it upfield now. Kick from the keeper. Charlie Donald, lovely interception. Good bit of strength there. Works his way down the line. Shane, good strength there from Charlie. He's away here. Oh, that was a lovely run from Charlie. We'll take the throw on into Ben. Will he play a 1 2? Nice little 1 2 with Charlie. Very composed. Ball inside. Can build it. Oh, just nicked away from him now. Hacked away. Bill putting the pressure on. Not giving him an easy out ball. Theo bringing it under control. Lovely bit of control and shielding the ball well. Rolls it into Charlie. Can he get. Oh, lovely little reverse ball to Billy. Can he get a shot away? Oh, good tackle from the defender. Charlie screaming at Bill to leave it for a corner there. Theo whipping in a dangerous ball. Where are Reese? Reese has put it in at the back post. I think it just eluded Sess. So that's two now in this game for Reese. Six in three. Another dodgy goal celebration coming up. Yeah. Anyway, let's forget about that and watch the replay. A very dangerous ball in whipped in with pace. Sess nearly got on the end of it, but just run through to Reese. Very composed side foot finish. That'll be custom house to get us underway again. Rolls it back. Oh, that's a raking ball out wide. Oh, lovely little uh, flick there from the midfielder. It's worked out nicely. So they have played some lovely football this game, custom house. Big header away from Sess, but it's blocked by the midfielder. Oh, not often you see Ben lose out on a tackle. But he's brought, uh, custom house have brought it away, working it down the line. Luke Malden and Charlie Donald between them, just shepherding him away. That's a free kick, little little kick out at Charlie there. There we go, Theo coming off. He had a, very good game today, works his socks off, and a goal as well. And he comes off for our very own Ginger Carroll, Curtis Smith, who's straight into the action. They'll bring the ball away. He'll look to roll it into Charlie Donald. Oh, that's a lovely bit of skill. Down the line from Tony Bowes, looking for the overlap from Charlie Donald, but well intercepted by the defender. Very composed, knocking the ball into the middle. I have to say again, customers have played some lovely football today. Nice little bit of interplay in the middle. Sess again, footing he has been solid all season so far. Into Ben, very composed, just rolls it out wide to Greg. Good tackle from Greg there into Howard. Rolls it square to Sess. Oh, this is a lovely football from Thames. Oh, lovely bit of skill from Ben. Greg, lovely ball into Ginger Carroll. Oh, he's put Tony away. Can he make it six here? Keep it. Oh, well out from the keeper. He was off his line quickly. He's had a good game today to keep it, made some very good saves. Greg chasing down the long ball up pitch there into Danny Charles. Can he just roll Tony in? Oh, a little bit of a mix up there. Well intercepted from the defender, brings it away calmly and he'll roll it into the middle. Ben, bit of pressure. We're getting on for full time now. He blows the whistle and I don't know what Kurt's done now. He smashed the ball into the referee. I say in training, we, we practice shooting every week and half the lads can't smack a cow's ass for a cricket bat. But Kirk can hit the referee's head from 10 yards and he's, he's also got the cheek to have a go at the ref. So another solid performance from Thames Ironworks. That's nine goals in the last two, zero conceded. Another clean sheet for Big Dave. Defence looks solid again today. Good to have Charlie Kerr back in there after his suspension. Uh, ben in the middle, solid again. Theo, another penalty. Reese, what can I say about Reese? You know, six goals in three games now. Just getting better every game causing all sorts of problems for defence. So let's take a look at how the table stands after that game. Thames Ironworks with solidified third place. Five points clear of East Ham Inter. Uh, two games in hand over second place Hyams Park Royals. Five points behind, so we can win our two games in hand. That should move us into second bar in results elsewhere. Um, Central Colts look to be running away with it. Beat Hyams Park Royals last week, but we still have to play Central Colts at home. Um, so we've turned Cave Road into a little bit of a fortress. But we had a very good game with Central Colts last time, finished one all. It was a very close game. So don't forget to join us on Sunday, 7pm. You can see the second instalment against East Ham Inter, the return fixture when we beat them 4-0 two weeks ago. We've got them at home this week. Uh, don't forget to tune in for that. I've been Graham Thompson. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon.